what you see here is Visual Studio Code. Uh, I've got a test script here, which is interacting with a, an online shopping site, and I've added transactions around steps within my code. This, these are uh, functions that are available within LoadRunner Developer to let the developer measure performance and ramp up performance within the IDE. You can see I've got one called Home here. I'm making a commit to um, save the work that I've done by adding that transaction and I'm pushing it to a repository up here in Azure DevOps. That's where my, my code is in this repo. I can see the commit that I just made to add the transaction. Now that's tied to a pipeline see the change there I've added that home transaction and the pipeline uh, is triggered on commit to that master branch so you can see there's the uh, extra commit that I just did adding that transaction in from Visual Studio Code and it's triggered a job and there's only one step in that job in this case to run a LoadRunner Cloud performance test uh, which will validate my code uh, on that uh, online shopping website so I can see the job uh, being triggered off there. We'll see it popping up in LoadRunner Cloud and the actual pipeline itself within Azure DevOps. I've got one, the online shopping pipeline. If we look at the steps in there, this is where we specify the endpoint where LoadRunner Cloud, the tenant ID, project ID, and 942 there is the test that I want to run and that commit is made and that is this test, home shopping scenario, in our LoadRunner Cloud platform. You can see there, test ID 942. And if I look at the runs of this test scenario, you can see the new one just starting off there, 1895. And provisioning from Azure data centers around the world to generate the load to validate that uh, extra bit of work that I've uh, coded in. When the test finishes, you get a result. Let's look at a previous one. Here, you get the results coming up in the LoadRunner Cloud tab. And this gives me a summary of the test run, which transactions passed, failed, the trending of those transactions, uh, and all the information I might need. Of course, I can also go into LoadRunner Cloud, the platform itself, and drill in in more detail to see SLA violations, anomalies, and so on, and compare with trend runs of, of, of the same workload scenario. So that's um, what I've shown. Uh, LoadRunner Developer, the plugin for Visual Studio Code JavaScript, uh, triggering a pipeline run in Azure DevOps, and that pipeline run with a single step in it to kick off a LoadRunner Cloud test scenario to validate that change in the developer's code. Thank you.